Hello and welcome to another community tutorial for Calcas 2DX and in this tutorial we're going to look at the schedule update function. This is a built-in function which basically allows you to schedule an update method every frame and you might wonder why do you want to schedule a method to be run every frame and that is generally where the logic of your game will go. So for example if you're, let's give, um, okay, Jetpack Joyride, you're flying about, it has to constantly check are you hitting something are you collecting a coin? There's always constant checks going on and constant game logic, and that is where the game logic will go, something that has to be called repeatedly. So let's just open up our project. There's also another reason why you would want to use the schedule update, and we'll just show you once we implement it. First of all, just create a function in here called void update. I mean, and it has parameter float dt, which stands for delta time, and that is essentially the difference between frames. And you'll factor this in, or you want you will want to factor this in when you're moving items around. So maybe if you're setting position and you're moving items around, you're moving the character, if you factor in delta time, you'll help make your character move or whatever you're moving at a constant speed whether it's running on a device at 60 frames per second or 35 frames per second whereas if it was 30 frames per second 60 frames per second it would be significantly slower or slower or significantly faster on one device. If you go to your hello world scene.cpp implement the function for void hello world update float dt Now in here, to schedule the update function, all you need to do is this, schedule update, see as you can see the loads of schedule function, so you can schedule a certain function with a certain interval, so you'll just repeat it several times if you use this one, and you can just do it schedule once if you want to, but let's just do the schedule update, and in here we're going to do a cc log. We're just going to put update. So, in theory, this should print out this several times, but let's just open up the log console. Only if compilation was just like that, just a second, no, even a second, a nanosecond, that would be fantastic. But it's not too bad. As you can see, it's calling the update function several times, and as you can see, the scroll bar is getting smaller and smaller because the update function is getting called like I said, several times. So that's it for this tutorial. So this tutorial showed you how to schedule the update method, so you can put some game logic in there when you move your character, make sure you factor in float DT, or when you're doing anything that's dynamic and moving factory flow TT flow DT easy way to do that is just for example times uh, the movement by DT obviously you need to experiment to see where how it works with your game and how you want it to work with your game like I said that's it for this tutorial keep the questions coming in you can email us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk the email will be in the description you can also comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube also the source code from this tutorial will also be in the description via a link and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day